Welcome back to Is It Still Good, the channel where we watch older films and let you know if they still hold up. Today, we're going to talk about a movie that came out in 2001, a comedy that I've always really liked and I remembered fondly, Super Troopers. And this is part one, not part two. We all know part two is terrible. I think I saw that one time and was just like disgusted. <laughs> By like how bad the writing was. It was just not funny at all. These broken lizard guys, like, what happened to them? But Super Troopers is an interesting film. It's rated R, runs one hour, 40 minutes. It's a comedy crime mystery. IMDb gives it 7 out of 10, even. Now, do I agree? Stick around to the end and I'll let you know. But this is a really, really weird movie. And it stars an eclectic cast. It was directed by J. Chan Drasekar, which his name's tough for me to say. But he's the one who plays uh, Thorny, the sergeant, right? He wrote and directed this with uh, Kevin Heffernan, who plays Farva, and Steve Lemmy. And Steve Lemmy plays Mac. So kind of like the main guys wrote it, and then Jay was the one that directed it, right? So we start watching this movie, and the storyline to it is Thorny, Mac, Rabbit, Foster, and Farva are Vermont state troopers out to have a good time. Stationed in a remote area near the Canadian border, the troopers, avid pranksters with an affinity for syrup, have a knack for screwing up on the job. But when budget cuts in the town of Spurbury threaten their livelihood and pit them against arch-rival Spurbury PD, the five friends try to straighten up and fly right. That is, until a dead body is discovered and a possible drug ring is unearthed. The super troopers spring into action, attempting to solve the crime, save their jobs, and outdo the local police department. So there you go. There's the synopsis on uh, IMDb. And here's what's interesting about this movie. The first 20 minutes, I was like, that's why I love this movie. This movie's awesome. That was so funny. I love the initial scene when the two highway troopers are messing with the potheads. <laughs> it's amazing. I love some of the hijinks that goes on in the police station. I swear to God, I'll pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans. <clears throat> hey, Farva, what's the name of that restaurant you like with all the goofy shit on the walls and the mozzarella sticks? You mean shenanigans? Oh. There's some funny and surprising moments, like Farva completely naked getting deloused by local PD when he's caught doing something dumb. Uh, he jumps a guy at a local burger joint for screwing with him. And um, I don't know, just like the beginning of the movie is awesome. There's this weird love plot on the side, which doesn't really bother me. It's fairly cute even. Um, I really like how the highway patrol is always fighting with local PD. That's hilarious. You know, there's definitely some good moments there. My favorite actor in this is Brian Cox, who plays Captain O'Hagan. I think he's just outstanding. There's a part where he's trying to, like, brief all the guys and talk to them. And, you know, Farva's trying to get the rookie to eat this bar of soap he put in his coffee. And Brian Cox just doesn't feel like waiting for him. He's trying to make his point. So he's like, oh, give me the soap. He takes the soap. He bites it in half. He spits it at him and he keeps talking. Every Thursday night, I walk into the lodge to play hearts. And they always have my old fashioned just waiting there. I like that. I like it here. Oh, hell! Give me the goddamn soap! Hilarious. I love that he just seems like so desensitized to all their pranks and totally gets it. It's a lot of fun. I really like how Thorny is just so open about being a swinger. and He's really funny about that. There's some fun moments there. But here's the weird thing about Super Troopers, okay? I started watching it. I had a great time like the first 20 minutes. And then this thing just slams on the brakes. It just slows right down. It stops being as funny. The laughs are farther and farther and fewer between as you go on. And then by the time you're 40 minutes in, you're ready to tap out. I mean, this movie went from being something I remembered and loved to hating. And it's an hour 40, so it just drags on way too long, which is weird because it's not like that long of a movie. It just feels long. On top of that, like, a lot of these things I used to think were funny when I was a kid. When this came out, I was 21 years old and it was hilarious to me. Like some of the direction's really good, but now that I'm like 43 years old, these guys would annoy the hell out of me. There's nothing funny about this. Like I remember when I was a kid watching this, when they like guzzle syrup. Come on, rabbit, you can do it. Oh, rabbit, he's killing you. I got thorny in front by a lot. What's the matter, your mama didn't teach you how to chug? to outdo the other one. I used to think that was kind of funny. This time I'm watching it, I'm like, why? Ugh, it's kind of weird. You know, just little things like that. My taste of change is my point. 
and some of the jokes are really funny. Um, you know, the one guy dares the other guy in a traffic stop that he can't say meow ten times. Now what is so damn funny? I could have swear you said meow. Do I look like a cat to you, boy? <laughs> Am I jumping around all nimbly bimbly from tree to tree? No. No. <laughs> Am I drinking milk from a saucer? That was clever and funny. Like just little things like that I really enjoyed. But on a whole, it's just a bad movie. Like, you know, is it a bad movie? I don't know. Maybe it's not a bad movie. It's just ever so slightly watchable, I guess. If you got something else doing, like you're folding a bunch of laundry or you're cleaning your house and you put on Super Troopers in the background, fine. There's definitely some funny moments, but past the first like 20 minutes, it just goes downhill from there. So what's my number score for this one? All right, let me try to sell you a book and then I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully you guys bought one of my novels. Remember, the Unkillable Joe audiobook is out now on Audible. Check it out. Super Troopers, out of 10, what do I give it? IMDb says 7 out of 10. What do I say? 5.4 out of 10 is what I give it. And you guys know on this channel, anything above a 5 is worth a watch, but it's like a coin flip. You gotta be in the mood, right? This is ever so slightly in favor of watch. And I can't really tell you to watch this in good conscience. It's just like, if this connects with you, you're going to probably like it, most of it. And if it doesn't, you're probably not. You're going to fall on the other side. It's probably a 4.5 if this doesn't connect with you. But if it does, it's probably a 5.4. Is that weird? It's weird logic, I know. But that's where I land. And I don't know. I'm as surprised as anyone else from some of my reactions to these movies. Like, I remember Super Troopers very fondly. And I watched it this time and I was like, bleh, this sucks. I was thinking about watching Napoleon Dynamite right after on Hulu, but like... I don't know. I'm afraid it's not going to be good because I've always liked that movie too. We'll see. I'll, I'll put it in the mix. But as far as like cheesy, dumb comedies, Super Trooper is certainly one of them. It's worth a look at. There's definitely worse comedies I can think of off the top of my head. Almost anything by Adam Sandler is worse than this, but it doesn't make this good either. It was good for its time, I suppose, but now it's just kind of like annoying. Although the first 20 minutes is gold. I'll say that. So that's where I leave it. I hope I didn't hurt anybody's feelings. If you guys disagree with me, that's totally okay. Just let me know why in the comments. I'd like to continue the discussion. What do you think about Super Troopers? And when's the last time you saw it, more importantly? If it hasn't been recently, go back and rewatch it and tell me what you think of it now. That's kind of the point of the channel, right? Love you guys, and I'll see you next time on Is It Still Good? Ha 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 ha!